Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the lecture series of uh, electrical engineering, basic electrical engineering. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss uh, the following points. Number one, so I'm going to discuss about what do you mean by a DC machine? So what is DC machine? Number one. Uh, number two, I am going to discuss about the working of DC generator. Okay. Working of DC generator. This is my agenda of presentation today. So first we will discuss about what do we mean by DC machine? What is the meaning of DC machine? So DC machines are nothing but the combination of DC generators and DC motor. Collectively, we call it as DC machine. First, what is actually uh, uh, the, the purpose? The purpose of DC machine is applicable for typical application. The power supply will be we are using, making use of, for like in case of generator, we are producing electrical energy. If I uh, go for motor, DC motor, we are utilizing the electrical energy to produce the mechanical work. So that is a major difference. So we are mainly focusing on uh, the generator right now. So what is a DC generator? So the DC generator is an electrical machine that converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy. So if I talk about the DC motor, it is just opposite to that of generator. In case of DC motor, electrical is an, it's also an electrical machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. The main important thing is the generator and motors, the operations are like reversible. You can convert DC motor into generator and vice versa. If I talk about the construction, the constructions of DC generator and DC motor both are same regarding the construction. Same construction. You can note down. Okay. Same construction. If I study the construction of generator, that is enough for motor also. Okay, all the components remain same, but the operation is different. I will let you know how it is getting deferred. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about the principle of DC generator. How does DC generator operates? So the, the main operation of DC generator, that is based on the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. That is one point. Then the EMF which is going to be generated is just like a dynamically induced EMF. There are two types of EMF. One is called a statically induced EMF. Other one is called dynamically induced EMF. Here, uh, the EMF which is producing uh, due to the dynamically induced EMF. Two points you have to remember. Number one, Faraday's law. Number two, the dynamically induced EMF. Also, we can identify the direction of magnetic field, the direction of uh, like a motion, uh, the current, everything we can identify by using one rule called Fleming's right hand thumb rule. Fleming's right hand thumb rule. Now what I'm going to discuss is how does DC generator operate? So I'll be showing you one simple images of DC generator. All of you please uh, consider the diagram. Second diagram we can consider first. First of all, we require a conductor. So as you can see, this is our conductor. Conductor, we can call it as a coil. Okay, you can just write it as coil or you can write it as a conductor. Okay, conductor. Number one. Number two, we can see the north and south pole. So you can see the north and south pole. Uh, this is your uh, magnet. Okay, this is your magnet. It's a permanent magnet. If you want, you can use a temporary magnet or electromagnet also. There are two types of magnet. One is permanent magnet. Other one is called electromagnet. That you know the difference. So here we use the permanent magnet, which has north and south pole. You know that uh, the movement of electromagnetic lines of force will be always from uh, the north pole to south pole. This can be verified by using uh, the magnetic mapping. Two points I discussed. Next, what you're supposed to do is we have to rotate. We have to rotate the coil or conductor within the magnetic field. The rotation can be either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. So we have to rotate uh, the coil in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Continuously, you need to rotate. What will happen? Now we can apply the principle of dynamically induced EMF and Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. 
whenever a conductor as you can see the conductor this is your conductor if you want you can mention like a uh, b uh, c d a b c d is a conductor or a coil that is going to rotate uh, in the clockwise or anti clockwise direction doesn't matter so you can rotate the particular coil uh, in a particular direction then what is going to happen whenever a conductor is rotating inside the magnetic field the magnetic flux these are called the magnetic flux a group of magnetic lines of force is known as magnetic flux the magnetic flux is going to cut or going to interact with the coil a b c d as a result what is going to happen the flux changes will be taken place the changes in flux what is going to happen if the fluxes are fluxes are going to cut and if the flux changes takes place and induced emf is going to be generated inside the coil a b c d that means the induced emf that is given by a minus n into d phi by dt okay this is your induced tmf okay e is the induced tmf uh, here d phi by dt is nothing but the flux linkage okay flux linkage flux linkage uh, n is nothing but the number of coil if i if i want to produce more number of emf i need to use more number of coil okay more number of coil i have to use in uh, in spite of a b c d i have to use so many number of coils so that i can produce more number of emf so this is uh, the negative symbol is because of lens rule you might have heard about the lens rule i have already explained what is the lens rule in the previous lecture kindly go through that once so what is going to happen you are coil is not stationary it is uh, like rotating continuously whenever the coil is rotating what is going to happen an emf is getting induced look at this an emf continuously emf is getting reduced uh, produced but here we can one more important thing you can see like a commutator and brushes i will let you know the construction about commutator and brushes actually we will be getting the emf like this whenever the coil is at one position you will be getting the uh, emf in this fashion if the coil is rotating you will be getting the emf in this uh, direction uh, the voltage is in the direction if you coil is like it rotating in another direction like a uh, emf is fluctuating but because of commutator uh, what you can do is the fluctuating emf you can co convert into continuously uh, produced emf the fluctuating emf we can convert into like uh, uh, this kind of emf like uh, uh, actually you are getting the fluctuating emf like ac you are getting so you'll be converting the ac into dc by using commutator so in order to connect the external load uh, we we use brushes these are the brushes as you can see these are the brushes brushes are used to connect the uh, generator output to the external load you can use any resistive load here you can connect any kind of resistive load like this you can connect it okay uh, here you can measure the voltage so i am we are measuring the voltage by using the voltmeter so this is the basic operation uh, of uh, dc generator so you need to rotate the coil continuously whenever you are rotating the coil initially you will be getting like a fluctuating emf so with the help of commutator you can convert the fluctuating emf into con uh, like unidirectional uh, voltage uh, by using a commutator so this is the simple working of uh, dc generator okay okay here you can see we have uh, a coil like a b c d so coil is going to be rotated uh, within the north and south pole there is a magnetic flux magnetic flux is going to be produced look at this the flux is going to be produced be be between north and south pole uh, whenever the coil is rotating uh, the flux is going to be interacted with the abcd where abcd is a conductor uh, or a coil uh, therefore uh, a flux linkage will be taken place as a result of flux linkage what is going to happen the emf will be produced at the particular coil okay the flux linkage is nothing but d5 by dt so if you want to increase the uh, like emf you can put more number of coils so that the amount of emf will be generated so in order to convert uh, the fluctuating uh, uh, voltage to unidirectional voltage we are using a commutator this is your commutator look at this commutator i will let you know what is commutator in detail later when i am explaining the construction so to connect the particular segment to external circuit we are using the brushes here x and y are called the brushes look at this these are the brushes okay brushes are used to connect the particular you know, segment to the external load look at the load here okay so across the load we are getting the voltage okay we are getting the electrical power across the particular load okay load is going to be consumed electrical power so this is the simple working of dc generator so so first of all what i discussed is uh, i have discussed about uh, what is the meaning of dc machine uh, combination of dc generator and dc motors are known as dc machine uh, 
then I just discussed about the working of DC generator. It follows the principle of uh, Fleming's right hand thumb rule and the EMF which is produced that is generally called as dynamically induced EMF. Okay, then I just discussed with the help of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. I just explained how to how 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 does uh, the electrical energy is produced by using DC generator. Here we are using rotation is actually required. That means you are uh, doing the mechanical energy. Okay, mechanical energy that is going to be converted into electrical energy as the number uh, as the uh, number of uh, coils are increased. Obviously, EMF also will be increased. So this is regarding uh, the basics of uh, of basic operation of DC generator. In the coming session, I'm going to discuss about the construction of DC generator. If you have any queries, kindly put up in the comment box. So um, there are so many videos regarding the Fleming's right hand thumb rule. Uh, also uh, regarding uh, the ba ba basic operation of uh, like uh, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. I already put up. You can go through once. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.